Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Divinely Destin. Welcome back to another video. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday. Happy New Year, by the way. I missed you all tremendously. I hope you guys are having a fantastic New Year. Happy Capricorn season. Yeah, happy birthday, beautiful Capricorn. Celebrating your birthdays today. If you got a little time, guys, go dig into your birth charts and see where Capricorn resides in your charts. You know, we are in the new year, guys, so please be more particular about what you speak about in terms of your birth chart in particular this year. It's just certain things you should just be very careful about mentioning in your charts. Yes, the spiritual battle, the spiritual battle is super real. This is why I have not been recording. There have been a lot of things transpiring in the background that has kept me away from you guys. But God has certainly called me to get back on track here. So I'm going to record when I can, guys. But there have been some serious attacks on my life here. And I'm pretty sure you guys have been going through some pretty heavy spiritual warfare as well. Yes, I have a general. Michael's in the background. Yes, your birthday may be January the 17th. I believe that's Capricorn energy. Yeah, you may be on the Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Yeah, I believe that's January the 22nd here. Yes, you may also be an Aquarius watching this video. Yes, this will be an all signs zodiac message. So just take it how it resonates. Don't try to make it fit. If it's your story, it's your story. If it's not, it's not. I send this out with the utmost love and respect for you guys admiration i miss you so much remember that you are blessed highly favored you are blessed you are blessed and highly favored highly favored you know so take this reading how it resonates yes i feel like god is working with us collective at this particular time and always to make sure that we get the things that you know are ours because as chosen people as heirs we are heirs to abraham's seed there are certain blessings that are bestowed and that belong to us and God and our spiritual team and God in our spiritual team is continuously working to make sure we get these things. Remember, you are not alone. You have archangels that reside continuously throughout humanity. They're everywhere serving us at all times. Archangel Michael in particular, he's powerful. He's been fighting this battle for us collective. He's been extracting people. He has been taking care of a lot of things. I'm picking up on Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Chamiel, certainly Archangel Metatron. He's been helping us collective. Yes, things are going the way they should be. Things are going just as they should be at this particular time, even if it feels like it's not. You are safe. You are protected. Yes, you may be a Scorpio here. Yes, you may be in your feminine energies. You know, lately you may have been operating more in your masculine energies. Okay, God is saying it may be time for you to, you know, balance your feminine and masculine energies more. Okay, you may be operating more in your feminine energy and God is saying, hey, I need you to balance this thing here. Get in that masculine energy too. That ask that Okay, there's somebody that astro projects to you as well. Or you may be someone that astro projects really well here. That's part of your gift. Yes, you may, you may need to get more in your masculine energy. You may need to get more in your masculine energy. Yes, son. Yes, you have the endurance and you have the capabilities, the strength, the power, the endurance, the stamina to really, really hang in there in any situation. Even the bad situations. God has equipped you to be able to withstand. Okay? You can handle pressure. You are the pressure. People really can't handle you. But they try to underestimate you or downplay you or even try to overplay your hand. Or play over you or play with you. But you are the real, you are the real endurance champion here. You can outlast a lot of situations and you probably have outlast a lot of your opponents, family members, co-workers, friends. You're going to be the one that's going to be laughing and, you know, all the way to the finish line here because you have the strength and the capabilities and the abilities that God gave you to endure. So you're going to go to distance here and you have been going to distance for a while here. Okay. Yes, hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. You have a powerful archangel, guardian angel, or ancestor that is in feminine energies that is watching over you currently, okay? Yeah, you may see or hear an ancestor in your dream, okay? Or you just may hear them while you're driving, while you're walking, while you're cooking, okay? 
You may need to make sure you rest more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you may be 24 years old here. Yeah. You may get a revelation in a dream that something is just not right for you. Or a location, or a job, or a friendship, okay, or a connection. You may, you may be called to pull away from someone, or something, or some area, or something in your life before the month of June, okay? Just follow your heart, listen to God's guidance, and, you know, go for it. Because God is not going to steer you in the wrong direction. Yes. You worry. Okay, somebody is wanting someone to come rescue them. Okay, God is saying, hey, you are the person that can rescue you. <laughs> Look within, okay? Trust God. He got you. Mm, I feel like you are a gift. You are a gift that most people mishandle or undervalue or underappreciate or try to hurt. But you are a gift. Yes, you've went through so many trials. You've went through so many tribulations. You've had so many attacks. You've had a lot of opposition, okay? Remember, you have been built for this. You have the endurance to withstand this. God has already equipped you to be able to master these things because God says he will never put more on you than you can handle. So you were already equipped when you came into this lifetime to handle these type of situations collective, okay? Yes. You may have a situation that has been plaguing you since 2022, 2021, 2020. Okay, it's coming into your new year, 2023. It's been stressful on you or, you know, it's just been something that you've been, you know, dealing with. Yes, take it how it resonates. Remember, God is saying something is not for you. Okay, this could be a relationship. This could be a location. This could be a residence. This could be a person. This could be your way of thinking. This could be anything. But you know in your heart whether or not this resonates for you. It's not for you to carry these burdens and worry another day about it. Give it to God and let him work it out, honey. Okay? Yeah. I definitely see business associations. Yes. God may be calling you into partnership. Okay? Yes, you may be stressed out about, about work. You know, your work or your career at this time, a business partnership or a job or something like that here. Remember, that's not for you to worry about or stress over. Okay, sometimes we got to get the messages. Okay, sometimes we got to understand that God will call us away. He will pull us away. He will call us away from things and people that no longer serve us or that are been are not beneficial or harmful or hurtful to us. God calls us away from these situations. Mm hmm. Like somebody tried to deliberately keep you stuck in your head over them as well. OK, take it how it resonates. Yes, you may be a Gemini watching this particular message. Yep. Somebody has been playing some manipulative mind games with you and it's just stressful or it has been stressful here. Yes, I see a Sagittarius here. I see a Leo, also an Aries with the Queen of Wands. You're the Queen of Wands. You know, she's the most magical, <laughs> mystical beautiful queen in the whole deck okay perhaps someone has been doing beauty spells on you some sort of magic or something to keep you stuck or hurt or harmed okay could be a queen of wands that's been in the background trying to cause this disturbance in your energetic field or in your life okay take it how it resonates but you are abundant you're beautiful you're down to earth you may need to save more it looks like you have the capabilities of giving back to the less fortunate and that's always good Make sure that you can give. You give only of what you can give, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Be careful of this Knight of Wands now, okay? This Knight of Wands. This could be a Leo that wants to come in and out, okay? Perhaps you've been stuck on a person that has not been consistent. I'm hearing this, okay? This person has drugged you through this for years, okay? It's going to have to be up to you to make a decision to finally close the door on this particular situation, okay? Not only are you beautiful and mystical, financially able and astute you're loving and you're down to earth okay don't let nobody play with you you're not someone to be played with you are an heir to god's fortune his throne okay his kingdom you are an heir to abraham's seed you are not someone to be trifled with or played with somebody likes to play on your emotions or your softness or your vulnerability towards them this could be a leo once again it could be a pisces aquarius capricorn they could have these things significantly in their charts. Yeah. Mm. We got the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You got a whole lot of love to give. And perhaps you've been giving it to the wrong people. 
or people around you have been manipulating or abusing your trust or your love for them. Shame on them. Okay? Shame on them. Never stop being a good person and never stop giving, you know, never stop um, being compassionate or loving. But you definitely got to pull away from people that are just only using you, abusing you, and taking advantage of you. That's not right. Okay? Yes, we got the Ten of Wands. You could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel someone is definitely overwhelmed by the emotions that they feel for you. You could be a soulmate or a twin flame watching this movie. This movie, you could be watching, your twin flame could be watching a movie, okay? You could be watching a movie, okay? But yes, you could have a twin flame or a soulmate that is definitely in agony over some sort of decision that they have to make. Perhaps this twin flame or this soulmate played so many games with you to the point where now you don't want nothing to do with them. And they have to come absolutely correct this time, okay? Playtime is over. They have no more time to play, no more games. Yes, you are the real deal here. You deserve, you deserve nothing but the best and only the best. So help us all, okay? Don't settle. Yeah, there's a Cancer Pisces that's secretly been holding back how they really feel. Perhaps they just played a lot of games with you. And perhaps you just finally put it behind you last year or you've just had enough and you don't want anything to do with them. Well, they feel this, okay? They feel that. They feel you pulling away or they or they know in their heart and soul that you want nothing else to do with them today, okay? You walked away. You walked away. I feel like they want to come and give you a message or talk to you or come see you. You may actually see your twin flame while you're out driving or in a strange location and he just happens to be there. It's because he's watching you. She's watching you. They are stalking you. They have been stalking you. Now, will the twin flames come into union in the year 2023? Only God knows. Not all of these twins are going to come together, babes. It's just facts. Yes. Yes. But there are going to be new opportunities for new connections this year. You know how I know. Because the four of wands and the ace of wands. That lets me know that some of you guys will be marrying this year. Dating. Okay. Okay. Getting new partnerships, possibly by the month of May. You may be a Libra or a Taurus watching this particular message. Yes, the month of May may be significant in terms of your love life this year. Possibly the month of October, Libra season, okay? Mm-hmm. All those tears that you used to cry are going to be tears of joy now because somebody's going to come in and love you the right way. Yes. Yes, this could be a reuniting. Well, I'm hearing that song, reunited, and it feels so good. This could be a reconciliation between twin flames or soulmates. Some of you guys are simply going to come back together with a twin flame or with a soulmate. Some of you guys are going to, some of you guys are going to be, I'm here in Ghana, Kenya. Okay. You may be watching me from Africa. Yes. Hello, Africa. Some of you guys are simply going to be getting high level soulmates. Okay. Point blank period. Perhaps you are a Libra watching this Capricorn or a Leo. Ooh, Virgo energy. The nine of coins. I'm telling you, this is going to be your year for financial abundance, freedom. Okay, the end of pain, I mean, the end of hardships in terms of your finances will certainly be coming to a close this year. Okay, some of you guys are already financially set and stable, and some of you guys are in that abundant energy as I do this reading. Just continuously say your affirmations and do your money manifestations and trust God and continue to work on what he called you to do here. And you're going to, you're going to be in this um, energies of not having to worry about how you're going to pay your bills. Okay. It's just going to be automatic. Remember you are heir to Abraham's seed that automatically gives you, um, an inheritance. God has already given you an inheritance. Okay. You're living in your North node here. This inheritance comes with being who you are. Okay. We got the will of fortune, baby. It's destined for you to be financially stable, honey. Yes. It's, it's meant for you to be financially stable. Yes. It is. You're not meant to be um, lacking anything. Okay, you are heir to Abraham's seed. Point blank, period. Speaking of heir, yes, you may be one of two sisters here. Okay, you may have an overprotective big brother or your daddy. He may have been super overly protective of you. You're going to get what you want. Somebody wants you, but they got to come correct. If they don't come correct, then they need to stand back down. Okay, because... You're not going to have it any other way. God is not going to have it any, any other way. Okay, I'm hearing, here he go, here he go. There's somebody coming in. Yes, receive them, but let God give you, ask God to give you the spirit of discernment so you will know whether or not someone is right for you, honey, period. Point blank, period. 
Yes, some of you guys have been devastated by a family situation. This could be your twin flame or a soulmate that has went through a divorce. Death card, Scorpio energy. They left behind a queen of swords. Someone that was very, very harsh, very mean. You know, the queen of swords, she's the meanest queen, honey. It doesn't get any more mean and meaner or colder than her. Okay, she will literally take that sword and put it in your gut and not even feel bad. Okay, this could be somebody your twin flame was married to or divorced. They're divorcing now or broken up with now. Okay, she could be in the background doing spells. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. We got temperance. You are an earth angel. <laughs> High priestess and the temperance. You are a gifted psychic medium slash earth angel that has amazing gifts and talents i'm hearing you have a huge responsibility here and people have literally been trying to kill you harm you bring destruction to your life here okay possibly due to a relationship that's that you're destined to be with destined to be in or perhaps because of a calling that you have over, over your life or perhaps a little bit of both mm -hmm. your twin flame your soulmate they sat back and watched you go through some serious things here on this journey okay Justice is here to say that, hey, the wrongs will be made right. You are being vindicated and justice is God's, okay? He's going to work this thing out for you, honey. Continue to cultivate yourself. I see your spiritual team working very, very hard to do whatever the spiritual team does for you in your particular situation. Perhaps relocate you. Perhaps, you know, help you or assist you get a new job or have that family that you've always wanted or to move you away from toxic environments, toxic people, friendships, okay? Whatever the spiritual team does, they're doing it for you as I do this message. Make sure you say thank you, Heavenly Father, ancestors, Jesus Christ, Archangels, personal guardian angels. Okay, Archangel Metatron is coming through in particular for this message. Please give him thanks because he's constantly clearing these toxic, heavy, stagnant energies away from us continuously you know archangel michael he's protecting us he's keeping us safe okay but archangel metatron he has a powerful position as well yes i'm picking up on a dove okay d-o-v-e the dove is a symbol it's the symbol it's the bird of love baby the holy spirit god jesus you may see a dove before the month of june possibly the month of august but i'm seeing the month of june before you may see a dove. That's going to be a sign from your spiritual team that they are working things out for you and you are loved, baby. You have someone on your spiritual team that is full of love and kindness and tenderness. Yes, this could be a divine masculine that really loves you. Yes, but you may have turned your back on him or you just may have decided to close the door on, the, on this particular situation. Okay, there he goes again. Yeah, he goes. You have a very loving, divine masculine, okay? Yes, but he has some obsessions. He has some toxicities. He has a dark side, okay? He's compulsively and compulsively stalking the hell out of you spiritually. He may even be physically stalking you. You may come to find that out this year. You may see him. You may spot him in an odd place, okay? Why is he here, <laughs> okay? It's no coincidence, honey. He's been following you. She's been stalking you. We got the five of wands and the eight. I'm hearing the eight of coins. I've already pulled the eight of coins. We got the 10 of coins. It's about money, baby, family, longevity, true love. This is what the enemy doesn't want you to get, okay? Period. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing don't let nobody half ass love you. You are the great musician, okay? I feel like you are a powerful warrior that fights in the spiritual realm. You are the ultimate fighter, but people underestimate you. They try to slow you down. They try to block you with their spells. They try to do death rituals. They try to harm you, or they cast negative thoughts or feelings, or they say negative, hurtful things, but you are the champion. And God has a, he always has a way out for you because you are his child. You are God's baby. You are the heir to Abraham's. Uh, fortune, okay, <laughs> you are his seed. Yeah, I see the six of wands. Okay, you may be an Aquarius or a Leo. Mm -hmm. This is, a, this is okay, I'm hearing this is a star. You may be a star watching me, a celebrity, or you may have a connection with a celebrity or a celebrity may have an interest in you, or you may attract a celebrity this year. 
You may have a celebrity that's watching you that you're not aware of. You may become a high profile celebrity. You may have high profile celebrities that watch you and inspire to be like you or you know that you may even have a you may even have a celebrity that reach out to you under a fake account this year. Okay, pay attention. This celebrity is very passionate. Okay. This could be a male celebrity that has taken note of you, but you may not know it, okay? They may stay in the background, okay? <laughs> we got the two of coins. Yeah, it's like somebody was just trying to manipulate and play with you. Like, oh, let me see what spell I'm going to do on her today. Or let me see what spell I'm going to do on him today. How can I block him today? How can I block her today? These people have been playing with their own lives, playing with you. Because God got you. He's ordained you to be you. Okay? They want to be you better than you can be you. You are in that you are in that abundant ten of coins energy and no one can stop it. There are people that owe you major apologies. But just accept the fact that you will never get it. Okay, you'll never get these apologies. But they owe you apologies, okay? You may be a Leo. You know, the sun, the sun card represents God for me. When I see the sun card, I automatically thank God, okay? God is here. He loves you, dear, okay? You may have a mother that has crossed over. She's fiercely protective over you, okay? She watches over her baby. Believe that. Yes, you are an earth angel, a light worker, a galactic being. Okay, a galactic warrior. Yes, sir. Yes, collective, you bring the tower down. When they come up against you, when they curse you, when they hex you, when they try to do black magic spells, all this witchcraft sorcery against you. And and by the way, they have to group up. There are a group of witches currently trying to bring you down, honey. It's like 10 against 1 here. But you have the power to call these people's judgment, okay? Yes, you bring the tower in. When they hurt you, they elevate you. When they do a spell, you survive it. You get through the attack. Boom. They add another pinnacle in your pocket, okay? They just elevate you. Yes. Yes, this is what I'm seeing. You see, we got judgment and the ace of coins. You are living in your north node. When these people attack you, when they come up against you, when they try to harm you, stop you, kill you, maim you, whatever they try to do, all it does is raise your ranking. You are a spiritual fighter. You fight in the spiritual realms. These people, <laughs> most of them are paranoid and they're looking over their shoulder. They may not, you may not physically see them doing this, but that's what they're doing. Spiritually, they're cowards. Yes, I'm hearing you are the, you are the ultimate. I'm hearing Daryl. You are the ultimate fighter and warrior and the spirit. You go in the spiritual realms and fight here. You fight for mankind. You fight demons here. You slay demons. We got the king of coins. Mm, you have a powerful masculine that is wealthy that you're meant to be with, honey. Just accept it, receive it. You have a powerful feminine that you're meant to be with. Accept it, receive it, because that's just the way it is. This could be your divine masculine. This could be a high, high level soulmate. He's saying, hi, honey. We got the chariot. This person could be a Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Aries. They could have these things heavily aspected in their chart. A super Leo energy here. This person is super, super confident, okay? He's confident. She's confident. And they're confident that, you know what, they can protect you and keep you safe. Period. <laughs> okay. You may be on your cycle today. Yes, we got the king of swords. Mm-hmm. I think your twin flame or your soulmate, they had to get tough. They had to get tougher because, because people were walking all over them and using them. We got the three of coins. Yes, partnerships. I feel like the three of coins in the contract indicates that you have a major contract here on earth. You came here to lend your energy, your beautiful energy, your divine energy. God called you here to, to deliver your divine energy, to assist his people, his people, God's people on the planet. You help people get back on track. You help people break addictions. You help people see that they need to change some things in their life. And you got people coming up to fight you, coming up, to, coming up against you to fight you. It's not, it's not for them to do that, but they do it anyway. And then, you know what? God has to step in. And put these people in their place. Point blank period. Okay. You are a master guru. And you have a master spiritualist on your team. Okay. This could be your twin flame once again. This could be an ancestor. This could be Archangel Michael. Especially with the Knight of Swords. He don't play. Look how aggressive and fast Michael is coming in. Oh, they made you cry. Look at Michael. He's rushing to be by your side, honey. God is rushing to be by your side. God is always by your side. Archangel Michael, he doesn't like to see us cry collective. He's very protective. Call on him when you feel like you need to be protected physically, emotionally, spiritually, in any way, shape, or form. Call on Archangel Michael, and he will come running. Do you see how fast this horse is going to get to her? 
Do you see how fast this horse is going to get her? Okay, God, don't play about you, honey. Yeah, there's definitely some people that have done some things to cause you to be confused. Chaos magic. Okay, death rituals. Confusion spells. Beauty spells. Beauty magic. Okay, I'm hearing poisoning. Okay, all kind of stuff they have done to try to defeat you. There's a lot of chaos in your home, your environment. There are, there are people that you live next to, your neighbors in your community, that they, they are causing nothing but chaos. They are being used, okay? They are part of this grand scheme of things to try to bring you down or defeat you. But the thing, the truth of the matter is, every time they attack you, no matter how they attack you, and no matter how many times they attack you, Archangel Michael is coming in to save you every time. Because you are a high-level individual spiritualist that has a high calling here. Or you would not be watching this message right now. Trust and believe you have a powerful spiritual team that is watching over you every second of your life. Whew. The enemy certainly wants to destroy you. He wants you to not get up and do your calling or do your purpose or go to work or take care of your kids or take care of your husband or take care of your wife. He wants you to lay in the bed and be sorrowful and full of depression and regret. You have a powerful love connection that's meant to be. And the enemy doesn't want you to see that or know that or get that. Okay? Who is this powerful lover? Husband? Kingdom husband? Kingdom wife? It's your true emperor. Your true empress. Okay? They love you. And they, uh, they know. Okay, I'm hearing it. I know. I know. I know you're tired of me. But they have a lot of love for you, collective. They have a lot of love for you, collective. I hope you enjoyed this particular message. Yes, if it resonated with you, please drop a like. Like the video, guys. Subscribe to my channel. I miss you all dearly. They've done two two death rituals on me, two heart attack spells on me, guys. So it's kind of like I have to kind of be touch and go here with my work, okay? I'm going to try to pump out as many videos as I can, but just continue to be patient with me. You guys are awesome. Thanks to the ones that have reached out and inquired about me and my children we really appreciate it yes i'm available if you want to book me for a private reading have a good day guys god bless